What's up, guys? It's Jay. Morning after kill, and I'm back with some more Tiny Penis Wonderlands. <laughs> and yesterday's Tiny Penis review definitely rustled up some of them proverbial jimmies in the comment section. <laughs> and I, I knew it would, like, because people just focus on, like, the last two minutes of the video where I'm saying something negative about the game. And then forget about all the nice things that I had to say about the game previously in the video. It's actually hilarious to me. Sometimes I'd just be sitting there on the couch and I'd be reading the comments on my phone. And I'd be like, baby, baby, come here. You got to read this shit. Like, I, I, I just sometimes I can't believe that some people just be as dumb as they actually really be. <laughs> But that's not the topic of the motherfucking video. What I want to talk about today is one of the weirdest omissions to Wonderlands. And that's the glaring lack of a new game plus. More affectionately known as true vault hunter mode in Borderlands. Like, typically... Borderlands comes with a new game plus mode. Like, Wonderlands is the first Borderlands game not to feature a replayable, or at least in some capacity, a resettable campaign after you finish the game. Which is something that truly makes no sense to me. Like, I, I sit here, and I try to wrap my head around Gearbox's design decisions, and I... I just can't do it. So maybe if I make this video, somebody can give me some sort of, you know, I guess insight to what's going on here. Because one of the biggest endgame loops that the Borderlands series had to offer was you play the campaign. And along the way, you do all the side missions to keep your levels up. And you also find out what unique mission rewards were available in the game, which ones you like, and then on your subsequent playthrough in true Vote Hunter mode, you would typically save these side missions along the way, at least the ones that you wanted the max level versions of, and you would save them for end game, and then you could farm these missions for a, a better version of the unique end game gear that you like. However... Wonderlands gives you no option to reset your playthrough or any of the side missions. Which means that if you want max level versions of these quest rewards, you're either going to have to farm them from vending machines, which is a snooze fest. <sighs> Can't believe Gearbox would want people sitting there farming the goddamn vending machines for gear, which, because, like, y'all remember when this game first came out? If you unapplied the hotfix, you went offline, all sorts of, like, legendary gear was showing up in the vending machines, and Gearbox fixed that out before the game was released, and I was talking to Damn It to Hell, and he said the reason that happened was because they didn't, Gearbox didn't want people farming the vending machines over and over again. So, it makes no sense why they would want you to farm these quest rewards from the Venom Machine and not re-experience the campaign or at least be able to reset these side missions to get a higher level version of these quest rewards, right? So your other option outside of farming Venom Machines is to slog through the campaign doing no side quests along the way. The problem with that is this game is scaled to a point that you're gonna have to do side quests in order to keep your levels up from area to area, or you're gonna have to go back and farm the Zomboss for like five levels every time you reach a new game board area, which is a hell of a lot less fun than actually playing through a new game plus with everything already reset and open for you. But it, it, it's funny, right? Because it, in my mind, right? Tiny Tina's Wonderland's campaign length was considerably shortened from Borderlands 3's runtime. And the only thing that makes sense to that is that it was in response to people saying that the game took too long, was overly bloated, 
and was just too long to fucking play for a second time. Which is one of the reasons why nobody played on True Vault Hunter mode in Borderlands 3. So I, I, I get with their statistics low on True Vault Hunter mode in Borderlands 3, why they would think that nobody wants to play it. But why would you remedy all the situations that led to nobody playing True Vault Hunter mode and then not give us True Vault Hunter mode to see if anybody wants to fucking play it? Because <laughs> like, it, it, it makes no sense because in comes Gearbox with a better story more likable characters, a replayable story length, and nothing. Not a goddamn thing. Like, like I just said, I, I sit here and I try to wrap my head around the design choices that Gearbox makes, and I, I just can't figure it out. Why remedy all the problems with Borderlands 3 story that makes it unplayable for a second time, but then take away the option to play the game again at max level, get max level rewards, find max level class mods and gear along the way, and then, once you're finished doing all this, you're more likely to have a build suitable for taking on the Chaos Chamber if you want, and you did it without actually grinding for it. You actually had fun playing the game the way it was intended. <laughs> but that seems to make too much fucking sense for Gearbox. My name's Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys read, comment, subscribe. If you leave a thumb up on a video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers and watch my motherfucking videos. But it just feels like there's a step between campaign and being chaos chamber ready that's missing in the overall progression of building your character. And true Volt Hunter mode feels like that's the missing step in between. But hey, you know. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm stunned sitting here giving fucking a multi-million dollar corporation ideas on how to fix their fucking game. If Gearbox wants me, they know where I'm at. They can fucking hire me and give me some motherfucking money for fixing their fucking game. But <sighs> Jesus Christ, Gearbox. Really? Like, it's, it's been fucking 10 years and you still can't figure out the Borderlands formula? <sighs> My name's Jay, more than after kill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.